I'm sorry, I missed what you said. I'm sorry, I missed what you said. No problem. I was just mentioning that I'm planning a hiking trip next month. Ah, got it. Where are you thinking of hiking? I'm considering exploring some trails in the nearby national park. There are some scenic routes I've been wanting to check out. That sounds like a great idea. Have you hiked in that area before? Yeah, I've been on a few trails there. But there are still plenty I haven't explored yet. It'll be exciting to discover new trails and scenery. Have you started preparing for the trip? Yeah, I've been gathering hiking gear and making sure my equipment is in good condition. I want to be well prepared for any terrain or weather conditions. That's smart. Proper gear and preparation are key for a successful hiking trip. Definitely. I want to make sure I have everything I need to stay safe and comfortable during the hike. Well, let me know if you need any hiking tips or if you want some company on the trail. I'd be happy to join you. Thanks. I appreciate it. It'll be nice to have a hiking buddy. What do you like to do for exercise? Hey, what do you like to do for exercise? I'm into running. It's a good way for me to clear my mind and stay in shape. How about you? I prefer weightlifting. It helps me build strength and tone my muscles. That's cool. How often do you hit the gym? I try to go at least three times a week. What about you? How often do you run? I aim for four or five times a week, depending on my schedule. Nice dedication. Do you ever mix it up with other types of workouts? Sometimes I'll do some bodyweight exercises or yoga for variety. Keeps things interesting. Yeah, variety is key. I've been thinking about trying out some new activities too, like cycling or swimming. Those are great options. It's good to switch things up every now and then to challenge your body differently. Definitely. Well, thanks for sharing. It's cool to hear about different ways people stay active. Attend English speaking events. Yeah, yeah, I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it, fuels like a magnet I've heard that attending English speaking events is a great way to learn the language Ever tried it? Oh, absolutely! It's like stepping into a live action role playing game where everyone speaks in riddles of English And you're the hero deciphering them a live action game? That sounds thrilling. Do I get to wield a sword of synonyms? Or a shield of slang? Exactly. And each event is a new quest. At a poetry slam, your challenge is to interpret the poet's ancient verses. At a debate club, you duel with arguments. Clad in the armor of articulation, I love the sound of that. What if I encounter a powerful wizard speaking in complex technical jargon? Then you summon the scroll of Google search or the potion of asking questions to decipher their spells. Every new word learned and every conversation understood is a victory point. This adventure sounds epic. 
time to embark on my quest and conquer the land of English-speaking events. Raise your banner high, brave linguist. The realms of conferences, workshops, and social gatherings await your valor. Onward to glory! Who's gotta grab it? Fuse like a magnet. Lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a ca- How can I help you? How can I help you? I'm struggling with this coding assignment. I can't seem to figure out the syntax for this function. Sure, let me take a look. Which language are you using? Python. All right, show me what you've got so far. Here's the function I'm working on. OK, I see the issue. You missed a colon after the function definition. Ah, uh, I see it now. Thanks for catching that. No problem. And you also need to indent the code inside the function block. Got it. Thanks for the pointers. Happy to help. Is there anything else you're stuck on? Not at the moment. But I might hit you up later if I get stuck again. Sounds good. Don't hesitate to ask if you need anything else. What's your favorite type of dessert? What's your favorite type of dessert? Tough question. I have a sweet tooth. So it's hard to pick just one, but if I had to choose, I'd say cheesecake. Cheesecake, nice choice. Any particular flavor you prefer? I'm a sucker for classic New York style cheesecake with a simple graham cracker crust. How about you? I'm torn between chocolate lava cake and tiramisu. Both are just so decadent and delicious. Oh, those are both excellent choices. Chocolate lava cake is irresistible with that gooey center. And tiramisu has that perfect balance of flavors. Absolutely. I love how the flavors meld together in tiramisu, especially the hint of coffee and cocoa. It's like a little slice of heaven in every bite. Have you ever tried making it at home? I've thought about it. But it seems a bit intimidating. Maybe one day I'll muster up the courage to give it a shot. I'm sure you'd do great. Baking can be a fun and rewarding experience. Thanks. Maybe I'll give it a try sometime soon. And hey, if I succeed, I'll save you a slice. Sounds like a plan. I'll hold you to that. Do you have any travel plans coming up? Do you have any travel plans coming up? Yeah, I'm going to visit my family in California next month. It's been a while since I've seen them. That sounds nice. Are you looking forward to it? Definitely. It'll be good to catch up and spend some quality time together. How long are you staying? Just for a week. I have to get back for work, but it'll be enough time to relax and recharge. That sounds like a perfect getaway. I hope you have a great time. Thanks, I'm sure I will. What about you? Any travel plans on the horizon? Not at the moment, but I'm thinking about taking a trip to Europe later this year. 
I've always wanted to explore Italy and France. That sounds amazing. I've been to Italy before and it's incredible. You'll love it. I can't wait. Just need to start saving up and planning it out. Well, if you need any recommendations or tips, let me know. I'd be happy to help. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'll definitely take you up on that offer. I'm having trouble hearing you. Could you say it again? I'm having trouble hearing you. Could you say it again? Sure. I was saying that I'm thinking about starting my own business. Ah, got it. What kind of business are you considering? I'm thinking of opening a small cafe. I've always had a passion for coffee, and I think it would be a fulfilling venture. That sounds like an exciting idea. Have you started planning out the details? Yeah, I've been doing some research on location, menu options, and potential suppliers. I want to make sure I have a solid plan before diving in. Smart approach. Have you considered the financial aspects of starting a business? Definitely. I've been working on a budget and exploring different funding options like loans or investors. It sounds like you're taking a thorough approach. Do you have any experience in the food and beverage industry? Not professionally, but I've worked in cafes before and I'm passionate about creating a welcoming atmosphere for customers. Well, let me know if you need any help. Or advice as you pursue your business venture. I'd be happy to support you. Thanks, I appreciate it. It's a big step, but I'm excited about the possibilities. What color are you looking for? What color are you looking for? I'm thinking something neutral, like black or gray. We have plenty of options in those colors. Any particular shade? Not really. Just something versatile that goes with everything. How about this charcoal gray? It's quite popular. That looks good. Can I see it in person? Sure thing. Let me grab one from the rack. Thanks. Do you have any black options as well? Yes, we do. Here's a classic black one for you. Perfect. I'll take both of them to the fitting room. I don't have a clue. Have you heard anything about the new project deadline? No, I don't have a clue. I haven't been updated on that. I thought maybe you had some insight, since you work closely with the project manager. I've been out of the loop lately. Haven't had a chance to catch up on project updates. Well, we need to know if there's been any change. The client is expecting a status report soon. I'll reach out to the project manager and find out the latest information. Thanks. It's crucial that we stay on top of this. Agreed. I'll get on it right away and let you know as soon as I have the details. Great, I appreciate it. We can't afford any surprises at this stage. Thanks.
Thanks for meeting me today. No problem. Happy to help. What's on your mind? I wanted to talk about the upcoming project deadline. I'm a bit concerned about our progress. I understand. What specifically is worrying you? Well, it seems like we're falling behind schedule. And I'm not sure if we'll be able to meet the deadline at this rate. I see. Have you identified any bottlenecks or issues causing the delay? Yes, there have been some unexpected setbacks in the development phase, and it's affecting our overall timeline. Got it. Let's brainstorm some solutions to get us back on track. Agreed. I think reassigning tasks and reallocating resources could help streamline our workflow. Good idea. Let's make a plan and touch base with the team to implement these changes. Thanks for your support. I feel better having a plan in place. Of course, we're in this together. Let's tackle this challenge head on. I'm at a loss for words. Did you hear about the surprise party we threw for Sarah last night? No, I had no idea. How did it go? Well, it was a disaster. The cake collapsed, and the entertainment canceled last minute. That sounds like a nightmare. How did Sarah react? Surprisingly, she took it all in stride and thanked us for the effort. I'm at a loss for words. That's incredible. She must be really understanding. Yeah, she handled it much better than we expected. We'll definitely make it up to her. I'm sure she appreciates the thought, even if things didn't go as planned. True, but I still can't believe how well she took it. She's one in a million. Absolutely. Some people just have a knack for grace under pressure. Can you read the instructions out loud, please? Hey, can you read the instructions out loud, please? Sure thing. Let me grab the document. Thanks. It's just easier to understand when it's read aloud. I completely understand. All right, here we go. Person two proceeds to read the instructions from the document. Hold on. Can you go back to that part about the formatting requirements? Sure, let me find it again. Thanks. I want to make sure we get that right before we start working on it. Found it. All text should be in Times New Roman font, size 12, with one inch margins. Does that sound right? Yes, that's it. Thanks for double checking. No problem. Anything else you need clarified? I think that covers it. Let's get started on this project. Agreed. With these instructions clear, we should be able to make good progress. Cooking Gadgets and Tools Have you seen any cool cooking gadgets or tools lately? I'm always on the lookout for something to make cooking easier. Actually, I just got this new immersion blender and it's a game changer. It makes blending soups and sauces so much quicker and easier. 
That sounds handy. I've been eyeing a mandolin slicer for slicing vegetables evenly. Do you think it's worth investing in? Definitely. A mandolin slicer is great for achieving uniform slices, especially for dishes like gratins or salads. Just make sure to use the safety guard to avoid any accidents. Good to know. I'll add it to my wish list. Have you tried using an air fryer? I've heard they're great for making crispy, healthier versions of fried foods. Yes, I have one, and I love it. It's perfect for making crispy French fries, chicken wings, or even veggie chips without all the added oil. That sounds fantastic. I'll have to get one for myself. It seems like there's always a new gadget or tool to discover in the world of cooking. Absolutely. It's all about finding what works best for your cooking style and making the kitchen experience more enjoyable. What's the most interesting thing you've learned recently? What's the most interesting thing you've learned recently? Well, I came across this fascinating article about quantum computing. Did you know they've made significant advancements in quantum supremacy? Quantum supremacy? That sounds intriguing. What exactly does it mean? It's essentially the point. Where a quantum computer can perform a task that's practically impossible for classical computers to accomplish. In a reasonable amount of time, Wow, that's mind-blowing. What kind of tasks are we talking about here? Things like simulating complex chemical reactions, optimizing logistics for large-scale operations, or even cracking encryption methods that would take classical computers thousands of years to solve. That's incredible. The potential applications seem endless. Absolutely. It's a game-changer in many fields, from healthcare to cybersecurity. I'll have to look into that. Thanks for sharing. As for me, I recently learned about the concept of neuroplasticity and how our brains can rewire themselves throughout our lives. That's fascinating too. It's amazing how much we're still discovering about the human brain. Definitely. It just goes to show that learning never stops, no matter how old we are. Can I show you anything in particular? Can I show you anything in particular? Actually, I'm looking for a new laptop. Do you have any recommendations? Sure. What are you planning to use it for? Mostly for work. But I also want something that can handle gaming on the side. In that case, you'll want something with a good balance of performance and portabilities. Have you considered a gaming laptop? I have, but I'm worried they might be too bulky. There are some sleek options available now with powerful specs. Let me show you a couple. That sounds promising. What else should I look for? Consider the processor RAM and graphics card for gaming performance, as well as the battery life and display quality for work. Got it. Anything else I should keep in mind? Make sure it has enough ports for your needs and check reviews for build quality and customer support. Thanks for the advice. I'll take a look at these options. No problem. Let me know if you need any more help. I don't understand. 
Can you explain it again? I don't understand. Can you explain it again? Of course. So, the new software update integrates our CRM system with the sales platform, streamlining the lead generation process. Okay, but how does that affect our customer service procedures? Ah, I see where the confusion is. With this integration, our customer service agents will have real-time access to customer data allowing them to provide more personalized support. I get it now. So, it will help us improve our response time and tailor our assistance to individual needs? Exactly. It's all about enhancing the customer experience and optimizing our service efficiency. That makes sense. Thanks for clarifying. No problem. If you have any more questions, or need further explanation, feel free to ask. Will do. I appreciate your patience. Not a problem at all. We're here to make sure everyone is on the same page. Do you have any kids? What's your favorite place you visited? I'd have to say Barcelona. The architecture, the food, the vibe, it's all amazing. That sounds incredible. I've always wanted to visit Spain. What was your favorite part about Barcelona? Probably exploring the Gothic Quarter, the narrow streets, and historic buildings give it such a unique charm. I'll definitely add it to my travel bucket list. Did you have any memorable experiences there? Oh, for sure. Watching the sunset from Park Guil was magical, and touring the Sagrada Familia was awe-inspiring. Wow, those sound like unforgettable moments. Did you try any standout dishes while you were there? The paella and tapas were incredible, of course. But I also loved trying out some lesser-known Catalan specialties. Barcelona sounds like a dream destination. I can't wait to visit someday. You'll love it. There's so much to see and do. You'll never get bored. Thanks for sharing your experience. It's got me even more excited to plan my own trip to Barcelona. Anytime. Let me know if you need any travel tips or recommendations. Financial difficulties. Honey, we need to talk about our finances. I've been going over the numbers, and things are tighter than I realized. I know. It's been weighing on me too. With the unexpected medical bills and the car repairs, it's been tough to keep up. I think we need to come up with a plan. Maybe we can cut back on some non-essential expenses for now. Agreed. I've already started looking into ways we can save on groceries and utilities. And maybe we can postpone that vacation we were planning. That sounds like a good idea. I also think it might be time to consider talking to a financial advisor. They could help us come up with a more structured plan to get through this rough patch. I think you're right. It's important to get some professional guidance. Let's set up an appointment as soon as possible. Okay, I'll look into it tomorrow. We'll get through this together. I promise. It's the real deal.
Have you checked out the new restaurant that just opened downtown? Yeah, I went there last night. It's the real deal. Really? I heard mixed reviews, so I wasn't sure if it was worth trying. I was pleasantly surprised. The food was amazing, and the service was top notch. That's great to hear. I was worried it might be overhyped. Not at all. The ambience, the menu, and the flavors, they all lived up to the expectations. I'll definitely give it a shot then. I love trying out new places. You won't be disappointed. It's the real deal if you're looking for a memorable dining experience. Thanks for the recommendation. I'll make a reservation for this weekend. Enjoy your meal. You won't regret it. Cultural and Religious Differences Sweetheart, I've been reflecting on our cultural and religious differences lately and I think it's important for us to have an open conversation about it. I've noticed that too. Our backgrounds are so different, and sometimes it feels like they clash. I understand. It's natural for us to have different perspectives based on our upbringing, but I believe we can use our differences to learn from each other and grow stronger as a couple. That's a comforting thought, but sometimes I worry about how our families will react to our differences especially when it comes to important traditions and ceremonies. I hear your concern. Maybe we can find a way to respectfully integrate aspects of both of our cultures and religions into our lives and celebrations. I like that idea. It's important for us to honor and respect each other's backgrounds while also forging our own path as a family. Exactly. Our love and respect for each other should always come first no matter our cultural or religious differences. Agreed. I'm grateful to have you by my side as we navigate these differences together. Let me clarify. Let me clarify. Sure, go ahead. So the new policy regarding remote work applies to all departments, right? Not exactly. It mainly applies to teams that don't require physical presence for their tasks. Got it. But what about the IT department? They sometimes need to be on site for maintenance. Correct. The policy allows flexibility for such situations. They can work remotely most of the time, but be on site when necessary. That makes sense. And what about the equipment for remote work? Is it provided by the company? Yes, the company will provide necessary equipment like laptops and software licenses. Good to know. And is there any specific protocol for reporting work hours? Yes, we'll be using the same time tracking system as before. Just make sure to accurately log your hours, whether you're working remotely or on site. Understood. Thanks for the clarification. No problem. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Do you have a pink dress in stock? Do you have a pink dress in stock? Yes, we do. What size are you looking for? I'm usually a medium, but I'll need to try it on to be sure. Of course. Let me grab that for you. 
anything specific in mind? Something knee length with a flowy skirt. We have a few options like that. Here's one you might like. That looks nice. Can I try it on? Sure thing. The fitting rooms are right over there. Great, thanks. Do you have any other pink dresses? We have a couple of different styles. Let me know if you want to see more. Will do. I'll try this one on first. Take your time. Just let me know if you need any assistance. Thanks. I appreciate it. Could you repeat that? I missed it the first time. Could you repeat that? I missed it the first time. Sure. I was saying that I'm planning a road trip for next month. Ah, got it. Where are you thinking of going? I'm considering driving up the coast, starting from California and making my way up to Oregon. That sounds like an amazing road trip. Have you planned out your route yet? Not completely, but I have a few key stops in mind, like Big Sur and the Redwoods. Those are iconic destinations along the coast. Are you planning to camp along the way? Yeah, I want to spend a few nights camping in nature and enjoying the scenery. Sounds like a great way to experience the beauty of the coast. How long are you planning to be on the road? I'm thinking about a week or so. I want to take my time and really soak in the sights and sounds of the coast. It sounds like it'll be an unforgettable trip. Let me know if you need any recommendations or tips for your road trip. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'll definitely keep you posted on my plans. Do you have any phobias or fears? Do you have any phobias or fears? Yeah, I'm terrified of heights. Even standing on a tall building makes me feel queasy. Heights can be pretty intimidating. Have you always been afraid of them? Pretty much, yeah. It's something I've never been able to shake off. Understandable. It's a common fear. Is there anything specific that triggers it for you? Just the sensation of being up high and feeling like I could fall. Even looking down from a balcony freaks me out. That sounds rough. Have you ever tried to overcome it? I've tried exposure therapy, but it hasn't helped much. I just try to avoid situations where I have to confront my fear whenever possible. That's fair. Everyone has their limits. For me, it's spiders. I have arachnophobia. Spiders can be pretty creepy, especially the big ones. Do you have any strategies for dealing with it? Not really. I just try to avoid them whenever I can and ask someone else to handle it. If I come across one... Makes sense. Phobias can be tough to overcome. It's all about finding ways to cope with them. Life Transitions Honey, I've been thinking a lot about the changes in our lives lately. It seems like we're on the brink of a new chapter. I've been feeling that too. With the kids growing up and our careers evolving, it's like we're entering a whole new phase. Exactly. And I think it's important for us to navigate these transitions together.
as a team. Agreed. Change can be scary, but I know we're stronger when we face it together. I believe this is an opportunity for growth and adventure. We can embrace these changes and make the most out of them. I like the sound of that. Let's approach these transitions with optimism and a sense of excitement for what's to come. And let's not forget to support each other along the way. We're in this together, through thick and thin. Absolutely. I'm grateful to have you by my side as we embark on this new journey together. Me too. Here's to new beginnings and the wonderful adventures ahead of us. Learn about the cultures. They say to truly learn English, you've got to dive into the culture too. Thoughts? Absolutely. Imagine it's like being an explorer in a vast, uncharted territory filled with hidden treasures. Treasures, you say? Like discovering the secret behind why Brits love talking about the weather? Exactly. And embarking on a quest to find the mythical perfect cup of tea. Each cultural insight is a gem that makes the language come alive. I suppose watching American sitcoms and understanding their humor is a part of this treasure hunt? Definitely. It's like deciphering ancient runes that hold the key to the local psyche. You start to understand not just what words mean, but what they mean to the people who speak them. This is turning into quite the adventure. Maybe I should document my journey like a cultural Indiana Jones. That's the spirit. With each cultural artifact you uncover, the language will reveal itself more and more. Before you know it, you'll be fluent, not just in English, but in its cultures too. Walk out of, leave a place, often in protest. In my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed Have you heard anything about the upcoming project at work? Not much, just some rumors Why? I have a feeling that it's going to be a big one And they might need extra hands on deck Really? What makes you think that? Well, the way our manager has been talking lately and the increased meetings with the higher-ups it just seems like something significant is in the works. Hum, you might be onto something. I haven't been paying much attention to those details. Yeah, it's just a hunch, but I think we should be prepared for some changes in our workload soon. Thanks for the heads up. I'll keep an eye out for any announcements or updates. Your intuition has been pretty accurate before. No problem. Let's just be ready for whatever comes our way. Grief and loss. Darling, I've been feeling the weight of grief and loss lately. It's been difficult to cope with. I know, love. Losing your parents was heartbreaking for both of us. We've been trying to support each other, but it still feels so heavy. Sometimes it feels like the pain will never go away. I miss them so much. Me too. They were such an important part of our lives but I believe they would want us to find peace and healing. I want to honor their memory and find a way to move forward, but it's hard. We'll get through this together, sweetheart. 
It's okay to grieve and take as much time as we need. Thank you for always being there for me, even in my darkest moments. I don't know what I'd do without you. You'll never have to find out. We're in this together forever. And we'll carry the memories of your parents in our hearts always. Let's review the key points. Let's review the key points. Sure. So first off, we need to address the budget allocation for the project. Right. We've allocated $50,000 for marketing, $30,000 for research, and $20,000 for development. That sounds reasonable. Now, on to the timeline. We're aiming for a launch by the end of the third quarter, correct? Yes. That's the goal. We've outlined the tasks and milestones leading up to that deadline. Good. And what about the staffing requirements? Do we have enough resources allocated for each phase of the project? I believe so. We've hired additional freelancers for the peak periods, and our in-house team is fully committed. Excellent. Lastly, let's discuss the potential risks and mitigation strategies. Have we identified all the potential obstacles? I think we've covered most of them. But we'll need to revisit the risk assessment document and make any necessary updates. Agreed. Overall, it seems like we're on track. But let's keep a close eye on these key points as we move forward. Absolutely. Thanks for reviewing with me. Preserving food. Hey, have you ever tried preserving food at home? I recently got into canning and pickling, and it's been so rewarding. No, I haven't. But I've always been curious about it. What do you usually preserve? Well, I started with pickles, of course. But I've also canned tomatoes, made jams and jellies, and even pickled some peppers from my garden. It's a great way to extend the shelf life of fresh produce and reduce waste. That sounds fantastic. I've been trying to find ways to make my groceries last longer, especially since I tend to buy in bulk. Canning and pickling are perfect for that. Plus, homemade preserves taste so much better than store-bought ones. I'll definitely have to give it a try. Any tips for a beginner? Start with simple recipes and make sure to properly sterilize your jars and equipment. And don't forget to follow safety guidelines to avoid any risk of foodborne illness. Got it. Thanks for the advice. I'm excited to start preserving my own food now. Can you help me? Can you help me? Sure. What do you need help with? I'm trying to fix this leaky faucet in the kitchen, but I'm not sure where to start. Let me take a look. It might just need a new washer. Thanks, I appreciate it. I've never been much good with plumbing. No problem. We all have our strengths. Here, pass me that wrench. Got it. So, do you think it's an easy fix? Yeah. Shouldn't take too long. Just need to shut off the water supply, and then we can get to work. Great. I'll go grab some towels to mop up any spills. 
Good idea. All right, let's get this sorted out. Let's go over the answers. Let's go over the answers. Sure, sounds good. Did you have any trouble with question three? Yeah, I got stuck on that one. I couldn't remember the formula for calculating the area of a trapezoid. No worries. I can help you with that. It's Bozzy 1 plus Bozzy 2 multiplied by height, then divided by 2. Got it, thanks. What about question 7? Question 7 was about solving quadratic equations, right? Yeah, exactly. I wasn't sure how to approach it. It's basically just applying the quadratic formula x equals negative b plus, or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. Okay, that makes sense. Thanks for clarifying. No problem. Let me know if you need help with anything else. Will do. Thanks for going over these with me. Let's take a break. Hey, I've been working on this report for hours. I think I need a break. Yeah, I hear you. We've been at it non-stop. Let's take a break. Great idea. Maybe we could grab a coffee or just step outside for some fresh air. That sounds perfect. A quick recharge will help us come back with a fresh perspective. Exactly. Sometimes stepping away for a bit can really boost productivity. I couldn't agree more. Plus, it's important to take care of ourselves, especially during busy times like this. Absolutely. Let's make it a quick break, though. We still have a lot to get through today. Agreed. We'll just take a few minutes to reset and then dive back in. Sounds like a plan. Let's go grab that coffee. Baking recipes. Have you tried any new baking recipes lately? I'm in the mood to whip up something sweet. Funny you should ask. I just made the most incredible chocolate chip cookies yesterday. They were chewy on the inside and perfectly crisp on the edges. Oh, I love a good chocolate chip cookie. Do you mind sharing the recipe? Of course not. It's a family recipe that I've tweaked over the years. I'll write it down for you. Thanks. I'll definitely give it a try. I've been craving some homemade cinnamon rolls. Do you have a favorite recipe for those? Absolutely. I have a tried and true recipe that's guaranteed to produce soft, gooey cinnamon rolls with just the right amount of sweetness. I'll send it to you. You're the best. I can't wait to bake up a batch. There's something so comforting about the smell of freshly baked goods filling the house. I couldn't agree more. Baking is not just about the end result. It's also about the joy it brings to those around you. Let me know how your cinnamon rolls turn out. Will do. And I'll be sure to save you a few. Seasonal ingredients.
Hey, have you tried cooking with seasonal ingredients lately? I made the most delicious butternut squash soup last night. Oh, really? That sounds amazing. I've been meaning to incorporate more seasonal produce into my meals. How did you make it? It was super simple. I roasted the butternut squash with some olive oil, salt, and pepper until it was caramelized, then blended it with saute onions, garlic, and a bit of vegetable broth until smooth. Finished it off with a touch of cream and nutmeg for that extra depth of flavor. That sounds divine. I love how seasonal ingredients can really elevate a dish. I was thinking of making a hearty kale and sweet potato salad tonight. The kale is so fresh right now, and sweet potatoes are in abundance. That sounds delicious and nutritious. And you're right, using ingredients at their peak season not only enhances the taste, but also supports local farmers and reduces our carbon footprint. Absolutely. I'm all for supporting local agriculture while enjoying delicious meals. Thanks for the inspiration. It's a long shot. Have you heard about the job opening in the research department? Yeah, I did. Are you thinking about applying? I am, but the competition is fierce. I'm not sure if I have the right qualifications. It's worth a try. You never know until you submit your application. True, but they're looking for someone with a lot more experience than I have. It's a long shot, but don't sell yourself short. Highlight your skills and achievements in your cover letter and resume. I guess I could give it a shot and see what happens. Exactly. Sometimes, even in challenging situations, taking a chance can lead to unexpected opportunities. You're right. I'll put in my application and hope for the best. That's the spirit. It's a long shot, but you never know until you try. Relocation and moving. Honey, I've been thinking a lot about our future, and I believe it's time for us to consider relocating. Relocating? That's a big decision. What's prompting this sudden change? I've been offered a job opportunity in a new city that I believe could be beneficial for both my career and our family. I see. It's definitely something we need to discuss thoroughly. Relocating would mean uprooting our lives and starting fresh. I understand it's a major decision and I want us to make it together. We need to weigh the pros and cons and consider how it will impact us and our children. You're right. It's important to consider all aspects, including schools for the kids, cost of living, and our support system. Exactly. But I believe this could be a great opportunity for us to grow and experience something new together. Let's take some time to research and discuss our options thoroughly before making any decisions. Our family's happiness and stability are our top priorities. Agreed. I'm glad we're on the same page. Whatever we decide, we'll face it together. I can't help it. I noticed you've been eating a lot of junk food lately. Trying to watch your diet? Yeah, I know I should, but I can't help it. These snacks are just too tempting. I get it. Sometimes, 
Those cravings are hard to resist. And it's not just snacks. I've been binge watching TV shows instead of studying. Well, sometimes you need a break. But don't let it get in the way of your responsibilities. I know, I know. I can't help it sometimes. It's like a habit. It happens to the best of us. Just try to find a balance between indulging and staying on track. You're right. I'll work on it. Thanks for the advice. No problem. We all have our moments when we can't help ourselves. Do you have any tattoos or piercings? Do you have any tattoos or piercings? Yeah, I have a small tattoo on my wrist. And a few piercings on my ears. How about you? No tattoos for me. But I do have a couple of ear piercings. Nice. How did you decide on your piercings? I got my first piercing when I was younger. Just because it seemed cool at the time. The second one was more of a spontaneous decision. I can relate. My piercings were also kind of impulsive, but I don't regret them. Same here. What about your tattoo? Any special meaning behind it? Yeah, it's a symbol that represents something meaningful to me. I got it as a reminder of a significant moment in my life. That's really cool. I've thought about getting a tattoo before, but I'm still undecided on what I'd want. It's definitely a personal decision. Take your time and choose something that feels right for you. Thanks, I will. It's interesting to hear about other people's experiences with tattoos and piercings. No problem. It's always fun to share stories and perspectives. Can you repeat that, please? Can you repeat that, please? Sure. I was saying that we need to finalize the budget by the end of the week. Got it. But I'm not sure if we have enough funds allocated for marketing. That's a valid concern. We might need to reallocate some resources from other departments. Agreed. I'll look into the numbers and get back to you with a revised proposal. Sounds good. Let's aim to have it sorted by tomorrow afternoon, if possible. Will do. Anything else you want me to consider? Just make sure we're not compromising on any essential projects. Understood. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for clarifying. No problem. Let me know if you need any assistance with the analysis. Sure thing. I appreciate your help. How do you usually get around? How do you usually get around? I mostly use public transportation, like buses and trains. It's convenient and cost-effective. Yeah, public transportation can be a lifesaver, especially in busy cities. Definitely. Plus, it helps reduce traffic congestion and is more environmentally friendly. That's true. I usually drive everywhere, but I've been considering using public transportation more often. It's worth giving it a try you might find it less stressful than dealing with traffic and parking. I'll keep that in mind. Do you ever bike or walk to places? Sometimes. I enjoy biking on weekends or walking short distances when the weather's nice. Biking sounds like a great way to get some exercise. 
while getting around. It is. Plus, it's a fun way to explore the city and discover new places. I might have to dust off my old bike and give it a spin sometime. You should. It's a refreshing change from being cooped up in a car all the time. Thanks for the suggestion. I'll definitely consider mixing up my transportation routine. Marital strain. Honey, I think we need to talk about the strain I've been feeling in our marriage lately. I've noticed it too. It's been weighing heavily on my mind. What do you think is causing it? I think we've been neglecting each other's needs and not communicating effectively. We seem to be drifting apart. I agree. Maybe we've been too focused on work and the kids, and we've forgotten to prioritize our relationship. That's exactly what I've been feeling. I miss us, you know? The connection we used to have. Me too. I don't want to lose what we have. Maybe we can set aside some time each week just for us to reconnect and work on our relationship. I love that idea. Let's make a commitment to each other to prioritize our marriage, no matter what else is going on. Absolutely. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make things right between us. Thank you for being open to this conversation. I believe we can get through this together. We will continue after the break. All right, break's over. Let's get back to it. Agreed. We've got a lot to cover. So let's dive back in. Before we took the break, we were discussing the budget for next quarter. Right. I think we were making good progress there. We just need to finalize a few numbers. Exactly. Let's pick up where we left off and iron out those details. Sounds good. I'll pull up the spreadsheet and we can start going over the figures. And don't forget about the upcoming presentation. We need to make sure we're prepared for that as well. Absolutely. I've already started putting together some slides, but we might need to tweak them based on the latest data. Good point. Let's take a look at what you have so far and make any necessary adjustments. Sounds like a plan. Once we're done with that, we can circle back to the budget and finalize everything. Agreed. Let's make sure we stay focused so we can wrap things up efficiently. Definitely. Let's get to it. How much does this cost? How much does this cost? It's listed at $250. Are you looking for something specific in this price range? Yes. I need something that can handle professional level graphics editing. Does it include any additional features? Absolutely. It comes with a high resolution display and a year long subscription to a popular graphics software suite. Plus, it's equipped with an advanced graphics card. That sounds like a good deal. How does it compare with the other models? This model has a faster processor and more RAM compared to others in its price range. It's designed for intensive graphic tasks, so 
You'll find it quite up to the mark. I see. And what about warranty and customer support? It comes with a two year warranty and 24 7's customer support. We also offer free software updates for the first year. Great. Can I also get an extended warranty? Yes, you can extend it up to five years for an additional fee. Would you like to proceed with that? Yes, let's go ahead with the extended warranty as well. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your words. Can you please repeat it? I'm sorry, I didn't catch your words. Can you please repeat it? Of course. I was saying that I'm thinking of taking a vacation to Greece next month. Ah, uh, got it. Greece sounds amazing. What made you choose Greece for your vacation? I've always been fascinated by Greek history and culture, and I've heard the beaches there are stunning. That sounds like a perfect destination. Have you started planning your itinerary? Yeah, I've been doing some research on different islands to visit and activities to do. I want to make the most of my time there. Do you have any must-visit places on your list? Definitely Athens to see the ancient ruins and then Santorini for the breathtaking views and sunsets. Sounds like a dream vacation. How long are you planning to stay? I'm thinking about two weeks. I want to have enough time to explore multiple islands and soak in the beauty of Greece. It sounds like it'll be an unforgettable trip. Let me know if you need any travel tips or recommendations. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'll definitely reach out if I have any questions. Health issues. Honey, I've been noticing that you haven't been feeling well lately. I'm getting worried about your health. I've been feeling a bit off, yeah. I was hoping it would pass, but it's been lingering. I think we need to schedule a doctor's appointment for you. It's better to get things checked out sooner rather than later. I guess you're right. I've just been putting it off, hoping it would get better on its own. I understand, but we can't ignore these things. Your health is too important. Let's make an appointment today. Okay. I'll call the doctor's office as soon as we finish talking. Thanks for looking out for me. Of course. That's what partners do. And remember, I'm here for you every step of the way. I appreciate that more than you know. I'll make sure to take better care of myself, for both our sakes. That's all I ask. We'll get through this together. Sorry. What was that? Sorry, what was that? I was saying that I'm thinking about switching jobs. The current one just isn't fulfilling anymore. Ah, got it. Have you started looking elsewhere? Yeah, I've been browsing job listings and updating my resume. But it's tough finding something that feels right. I can imagine. It's important to find a job that aligns with your interests and values. Exactly. I don't want to just jump into another job that I'll end up feeling the same way about. Have you considered what type of role 
or industry you want to transition into. I'm leaning towards something more creative, maybe marketing or graphic design. That sounds like a good fit for your skills. Have you looked into any specific companies? Not yet, but I'm planning to research some companies known for their creative work culture. That's a smart approach. Finding the right company culture can make a big difference in job satisfaction. Definitely. Thanks for listening. By the way, it helps to talk it out. Anytime. Let me know if you need any help with your job search. Can you give me an example? Can you give me an example? Sure. Let's say you're trying to explain the concept of supply and demand in economics. An example would be how the price of a product increases when its demand exceeds the supply available in the market. Ah, I see. So, like when there's a limited edition item and everyone wants it, so the price goes up. Exactly. That's a perfect example of supply and demand at play. Got it. Are there any other examples you can think of? Sure. Another example could be how the price of umbrellas goes up during rainy seasons because the demand for them increases. That makes sense. So, it's all about the balance between supply and demand influencing prices. Exactly. Supply and demand are fundamental concepts in economics that help explain various market behaviors. Thanks for clarifying with those examples. It's much clearer now. No problem. Examples often make complex concepts easier to understand. If you need more, just let me know. Cooking shows and chefs. Have you been watching any interesting cooking shows lately? Yes, I've been hooked on this new show featuring Up. And coming chefs competing against each other. It's so inspiring to see their creativity and talent. That sounds intriguing. I'm a fan of watching cooking competitions too. Do you have any favorite chefs from the show? There's one chef in particular whose dishes always blow me away. Their innovative flavor combinations and presentation are just next level. It's incredible how much talent there is in the culinary world. I've been following this renowned chef who specializes in fusion cuisine. Their ability to blend different culinary traditions into one dish is mesmerizing. Fusion cuisine is fascinating. It's amazing to see how chefs can push the boundaries of traditional cooking to create something entirely new and exciting. Absolutely. And cooking shows not only entertain, but also inspire home cooks like us to experiment and elevate our own culinary skills. Definitely. I've picked up so many tips and techniques just from watching these chefs in action. It's like having a masterclass right in your living room. Agreed. Let's keep exploring new cooking shows and chefs for more inspiration in the kitchen. Please summarize what we have learned.
Let's summarize what we've learned. Sure. So first, we discussed the importance of effective communication within the team. Right. Clear communication helps avoid misunderstandings and ensures everyone is on the same page. Exactly. Then, we talked about the significance of setting realistic goals and timelines. Yes, having achievable targets helps maintain motivation and keeps the project on track. Lastly, we emphasize the need for flexibility and adaptability in our approach. Absolutely. Being able to adjust our strategies in response to challenges is crucial for success. Overall, we've learned that effective communication, realistic goal setting, and flexibility are key principles to keep in mind. Agreed. By applying these principles, we can enhance our teamwork and increase our chances of achieving our objectives. Exactly. Thanks for summarizing. Immerse yourself in the language. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. So, I've heard immersing yourself in the language is the best way to learn English, right? Absolutely. It's like diving into an ocean of words. But, you know, not just any ocean, a sea filled with talking dolphins. Talking dolphins? Now, that's a fun way to learn. Imagine them teaching idioms and slang. Exactly. And every now and then, a pirate ship sails by, shouting grammar rules through a megaphone. Ah, I be mastering the present perfect tense. Me hearties. But what about vocabulary? Treasure chests. Each island has hidden chests filled with new words. The trick is... Some are guarded by parrots that only let you pass if you pronounce the words correctly. That sounds like an adventure. I guess it's time to set sail and start talking to those dolphins. Don't forget to duel with the pirates. There's no better way to learn conditional sentences than by negotiating with them for your treasure. With this immersive journey, I'll be fluent in no time. English, here I come. Pace when I'm running, I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Turn up at, arrive at a location or event. I heard you're thinking about renting out your vacation home. How's that going? It's going really well. I found a reliable family who wants to rent it for the summer. That's great. But won't you miss using it yourself during the summer? Well, here's the thing. They're offering a good rental price, which will cover all the expenses plus a little extra. So, I can use that extra income to explore other vacation options. So, you get to make some money and still have the freedom to travel elsewhere. It's a win-win situation. Exactly. It's a win for me financially, and they get a beautiful vacation home for the summer. Everyone's happy. That sounds like a smart move. Making the most of your assets and enjoying other experiences, it's definitely a win-win situation. I have butterflies in my stomach. Hey, how's your first day at the new job going? It's going okay, but I have butterflies in my stomach. Everything feels so new and unfamiliar. That's completely normal. Starting a new job can be nerve-wracking. I know, 
but I can't help but feel anxious. It'll get better with time. Once you settle in and get used to the routine, those butterflies will go away. I hope so. I just want to make a good impression and fit in with the team. You'll do great. Just be yourself and it will all work out. Thanks for the reassurance. I appreciate it. No problem. We've all been there before. It's natural to have those butterflies when facing something new. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Great. I need some help translating this document. Sure. I'd be happy to assist. What language is it in? It's in Spanish. No problem. I'm fluent in Spanish as well. Perfect. I just need a few sections translated for a presentation. Okay, let me take a look. Thanks. It's mainly technical terms related to the industry. I see. Could you point out which sections you need translated? Sure, it's these paragraphs here. Got it. I'll work on translating them for you. Thanks. I really appreciate your help. It's no problem at all. I'm happy to help out where I can. You're a lifesaver. Let me know if you need anything in return. Will do. Just give me a moment to translate these sections for you. Please. Can you pass me the salt, please? Sure. Here you go. Thanks. Oh, and could you also hand me the pepper, please? Of course. Here it is. Thanks again. Could you please pass me the water? No problem. Here's the water. Please, could you also pass the napkins? Sure thing. Here are the napkins. Thank you. And one last thing. Could you please pass me the bread? Here you go. Enjoy. Thanks a lot. That's all I needed. You're welcome. If you need anything else, just let me know. Will do. Thanks again. Please, don't mention it. Just happy to help. Family Dynamics and Conflicts Darling, I've been feeling a bit overwhelmed with the dynamics and conflicts within our family lately. I think we need to address some issues. I've noticed the tension too. It's been challenging navigating everyone's personalities and opinions. Exactly. I worry about how it's affecting our family's overall well-being. Maybe we need to find a way to address these conflicts constructively. I agree. It's important to foster open communication and find solutions that work for everyone. But it's not just about resolving conflicts. I also think we need to set boundaries and establish healthy family dynamics. That's a good point. Boundaries can help prevent conflicts from escalating and ensure that everyone's needs are respected. Let's make a plan to sit down as a family and have a calm, respectful discussion about our concerns and how we can move forward together. 
I think that's a great idea. It's time we address these issues head on and work towards a more harmonious family dynamic. Agreed. Our family's happiness and well-being are worth the effort. Social Media and Technology Honey, I've been feeling like we're spending too much time on social media and with technology lately. It's starting to affect our quality time together. I've noticed that too. It's so easy to get caught up in scrolling through our feeds or watching videos. And before we know it, hours have passed. Exactly. I miss the days when we would sit and talk without distractions. I think we need to set some boundaries around our technology use. I agree. Maybe we can start by designating certain times of the day as tech-free times where we focus on each other and our relationship. That sounds like a great idea. And we can also limit the amount of time we spend on social media each day so it doesn't consume our entire lives. I like that. It's important to be more mindful of how we're using technology and to prioritize our real-life connections. Definitely. Let's make a conscious effort to put our phones down and be present with each other more often. Agreed. I'm looking forward to spending more quality time together without the distractions of screens. Could you repeat that more clearly? Could you repeat that more clearly? Sure, I was saying that I'm thinking of hosting a barbecue next weekend. Ah. Got it. Where were you thinking of having it? I was considering having it in my backyard, if the weather permits. That sounds like a great idea. What day were you thinking? Probably Saturday afternoon. That way, people can come by after lunch and stay until the evening. Sounds like a plan. Do you need any help with preparations? Thanks for offering. I might need some help setting up the grill and arranging seating. No problem. I can definitely lend a hand with that. What kind of food were you planning to serve? I was thinking of doing classic barbecue fare like burgers, hot dogs, and grilled veggies. Sounds delicious. Should I bring anything? Just yourself and maybe a side dish, or dessert if you'd like. Sounds good. I'll bring a salad or some fruit. Perfect. It'll be a fun way to kick off the summer. Can anyone else contribute to the discussion? Did you hear about the new project we're starting next week? Yeah, I heard about it. Sounds like it's going to be a big one. Definitely. I think it's going to require a lot of coordination and teamwork. For sure. Have they mentioned if anyone else can contribute to the discussion? I'm not entirely sure. But I think they're open to input from anyone who has relevant expertise or experience. That's good to hear. I know a few people who might have some valuable insights to offer. Yeah, we should definitely reach out to them and see if they're interested in joining the conversation. Agreed. 
The more perspectives we have, the better chance we have of coming up with a solid plan. Absolutely! Let's make sure to keep everyone in the loop as we move forward with this project. Sounds like a plan. I'll start reaching out to some people and see if they're available to contribute. Leftovers and meal planning. Do you have any tips for dealing with leftovers and meal planning? I always struggle with what to do with them. Leftovers can actually be a lifesaver. I like to plan my meals for the week and intentionally cook extra portions to have leftovers for lunches or dinners. That's a good idea. I never thought about intentionally making leftovers. How do you keep them from getting boring? I tried to get creative with leftovers by repurposing them into new dishes. For example, leftover roasted chicken can be turned into a chicken salad or added to a pasta dish. Ah, I see. That adds variety to the meals without much extra effort. What about meal planning? How do you approach that? I like to sit down at the beginning of the week and plan out my meals taking into account what ingredients I already have and what's on sale at the grocery store. It saves time and money. That makes sense. I think I'll give meal planning a try. It sounds like it would help reduce food waste and make cooking during the week less stressful. Exactly. It's all about finding a system that works for you and sticking to it. You'll be amazed at how much smoother meal time becomes with a little planning. Pardon me, I didn't catch that. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. Pardon me, I didn't catch that. No problem. I was just saying that I'm considering adopting a pet. Ah, uh, got it. What kind of pet are you thinking of getting? I'm leaning towards adopting a dog from a shelter. I think it would be nice to have a furry companion. Dogs make great pets. Have you thought about what breed you want? I'm open to different breeds, but I'm thinking of adopting a mixed breed dog. They tend to be more unique and have fewer health issues. That's a thoughtful approach. Have you considered the responsibilities that come with owning a pet? Definitely. I've been doing some research on pet care and training. I want to make sure I'm fully prepared to take care of a dog. That's great to hear. Adopting a pet is a big commitment, but it can also be very rewarding. Yeah, I'm excited about the possibility of giving a shelter dog a loving home. Well, let me know if you need any advice or assistance with the adoption process. Why does the lamb love Mary so? Mary... I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. It's okay. Accidents happen. What happened? I accidentally spilled coffee on your desk while reaching for a file. Ah, uh, got it. It's not a big deal. I can clean it up. I feel bad though. I should have been more careful. Don't worry about it. It was just a small spill. No harm done. Still, I apologize for the inconvenience. No need to apologize. We're all human and make mistakes sometimes. Thanks for understanding. I'll make sure to be more cautious in the future. 
Sounds good. Let's just focus on getting the mess cleaned up and moving forward with our work. Agreed. Thanks again for being so understanding. Of course. Accidents happen. It's how we handle them that matters. Wine and food pairing. Have you ever tried pairing wine with food? I've heard it can really enhance the dining experience. Absolutely. It's amazing how the right wine can complement and elevate the flavors of a dish. What are you planning to pair tonight? I'm thinking of making of making a grilled salmon dish, but I'm not sure what wine would go best with it. For salmon, you can't go wrong with a light, crisp white wine like a Sauvignon Blanc or a Chardonnay. The acidity will balance out the richness of the fish. That sounds perfect. I'll pick up a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc to go with it. What about dessert? Any wine recommendations for that? For dessert, a sweet wine like a Riesling or a Moscato would pair nicely. Their fruity flavors will complement a variety of desserts, from fruit tarts to chocolate cake. Great suggestions! I'll grab a bottle of Riesling to enjoy with our dessert. Thanks for helping me plan the perfect wine. And food pairings. Anytime. Wine and food pairing is all about experimenting and finding what works best for your taste buds. Cheers to a delicious meal. Sorry, I didn't quite get that. Sorry, I didn't quite get that. No problem. I was saying that I'm considering taking up a new hobby. Ah, got it. What hobby are you thinking of trying? I'm thinking of learning how to play the guitar. I've always admired musicians, and I think it would be a fun challenge. That sounds exciting. Have you ever played an instrument before? Not really. Aside from a few piano lessons when I was younger, but I've always been drawn to the guitar. It's never too late to start learning. Have you looked into taking lessons or learning online? Yeah, I've been researching different options. I'm considering either taking private lessons or using online tutorials to teach myself. Both sound like good options. Learning to play an instrument can be very rewarding. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be a great way to relax and unwind after work. Definitely. And who knows? Maybe you'll discover a hidden talent for music. That would be cool. But even if I don't, I think it'll still be a fun journey to embark on. Absolutely. I'm excited to see how it goes for you. Let me know if you need any help or advice along the way. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'll keep you updated on my progress. Sorry to interrupt, but... Sorry to interrupt, but... No problem, what's up? I just wanted to ask if you've seen my phone anywhere. Hmm, I don't think so. When was the last time you had it? I had it earlier this morning, but now I can't seem to find it anywhere. Have you checked your bag or pockets? Yeah, I've looked everywhere. Did you try calling it? Oh, good idea. Let me try that. 
Hopefully, you'll hear it ringing, and that'll narrow down where it might be. It's ringing. It must be somewhere close by. That's a relief. Maybe it's under the couch or something. Let me check. Yep, found it. It was wedged between the cushions. Glad you found it. Thanks for the help. No problem. Happy to assist. Sorry, could you say that once more? Sorry, could you say that once more? Of course. I was saying that I'm considering changing my career path. Ah, got it. What prompted the change? I've been feeling unfulfilled in my current job for a while now. I want to explore new opportunities that align better with my interests and values. That makes sense. Have you thought about what type of career you'd like to pursue instead? I'm leaning towards something in the environmental sector. I've always been passionate about sustainability. And I want to make a positive impact in that area. That sounds like a noble pursuit. Have you started looking into potential career options? Yeah, I've been researching different roles and organizations in the environmental field. I want to find something that allows me to contribute to meaningful projects. It's important to find a career that you're passionate about. Do you have any specific goals? Or milestones you want to achieve in this new direction. I'd like to eventually work for an environmental nonprofit or a sustainable company, but for now, I'm focusing on gaining relevant experience and skills. Well, I'm here to support you in your career transition. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks. I appreciate it. It's a big step. But I'm excited about the possibilities. Do you have any upcoming events or plans? Do you have any upcoming events or plans? Yeah, I'm actually going to a concert next weekend. One of my favorite bands is playing in town. That sounds like fun. Who are you going to see? It's a rock band called the Black Keys. I've been a fan for years, so I'm really excited. They put on a great show. I'm sure you'll have a blast. Thanks. I can't wait. What about you? Any plans coming up? Not much on the calendar right now. Just some work stuff, and maybe a dinner with friends next Saturday. Nice. It's always good to have some downtime to relax. Yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to it. Do you have any other events lined up after the concert? Not really. Just taking it one day at a time. Might plan a weekend getaway soon, though. Sounds like a good idea. A little getaway can be refreshing. Exactly. Well, if you're ever looking for something to do, feel free to join me at the concert. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy the concert. What's your favorite restaurant? What's your favorite restaurant? I love this little Italian place downtown called Giovanni's. Their pasta dishes are amazing. How about you? Hmm. 
it's hard to pick just one. But I really enjoy this sushi place called Sakura. Their rolls are always fresh and delicious. Oh, I've heard of that place. I'll have to give it a try sometime. Definitely. You won't be disappointed. Have you been to Giovanni's recently? Yeah, I was there last week for a friend's birthday dinner. It was as good as ever. Sounds like a great time. I'll have to plan a visit there soon. Let me know when you do. Maybe we can go together. That sounds like a plan. And if you ever want to grab sushi, I'm always up for it. Awesome, thanks. I'll keep that in mind. No problem. It's always fun trying out new restaurants with friends. Do you have any allergies? Do you have any allergies? Yeah! I'm allergic to peanuts and shellfish. How about you? No allergies for me, luckily. Must be tough having to avoid certain foods. It can be a bit challenging, especially when eating out or at social events. But I've gotten used to it. Do you carry an EpiPen with you just in case? Yeah! Always. It's a lifesaver in case of accidental exposure. That's smart. Better to be safe than sorry. Have you had any serious reactions before? Thankfully, nothing too serious. Just some hives and itching when I accidentally ate something with traces of peanuts or shellfish. Well, it's good that you're cautious about it. I'll make sure to keep that in mind if we ever grab a bite together. Thanks. I appreciate it. It's always nice when friends are understanding about food allergies. Of course, no problem. Just let me know if there's anything you need to avoid. Down to the sea. No one's as dear. Food preservation. Step one. Wake up early, gonna rise at the sun. Step two. Get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Wake up. Today's gonna be Have you ever tried your hand at food preservation? Not really, but I've always been intrigued by the idea. Is it difficult? It's not as hard as it seems. I've been experimenting with canning and pickling lately. It's a great way to make your favorite fruits. And vegetables last longer. That sounds interesting. What kind of things have you been preserving? I started with some homemade jams and pickles. And I've also canned tomatoes and peaches when they were in season. Wow, that's impressive. How do you know when something is safe to preserve? I follow recipes from reputable sources and make sure to properly sanitize my jars and equipment. It's essential to follow proper techniques to prevent any risk of spoilage or foodborne illness. Good to know. I might give it a try myself. It sounds like a satisfying way to enjoy seasonal produce all year round. Definitely. Plus, there's something so rewarding about opening a jar of something you preserved yourself. It's like tasting a little piece of summer in the middle of winter. That's a great question. That's a great question. Thanks. I've been wondering about it for a while. Yeah. It really got me thinking, too. Have you come up with any ideas? Well, I've been considering a few options, 
but I'm not sure which one is the best approach yet. I see. Maybe we could brainstorm together sometime. That sounds like a good plan. It's always helpful to bounce ideas off someone else. Absolutely. Collaboration often leads to better solutions. Definitely. So when do you think we could meet up to discuss this further? How about tomorrow afternoon? I should be free then. Sounds good to me. Let's aim for tomorrow then. Great. I'll shoot you a message to confirm the details later. Perfect. Looking forward to it. You're welcome. Hey, thanks for picking up groceries on your way home. No problem at all. Anything else you need? Nope. That should be it for today. Thanks again. You're welcome. Just let me know if there's anything else you need later. Will do. How was your day? It was all right. Nothing too eventful. How about yours? Same here. Just the usual routine. Nothing too exciting. Well, sometimes that's a good thing, right? Definitely. Anyway, I'll start preparing dinner. Thanks again for grabbing the groceries. No problem. I'll help out with dinner once I put these away. Sounds like a plan. Let's get cooking. Absolutely. You're welcome. Write in English. They say writing in English can really boost your learning. Thoughts? Absolutely! Imagine your pen is a magic wand, and every sentence you write casts a spell of fluency. A magic wand? Huh? Will it make my spelling mistakes disappear too? Well, not instantly. But with each mistake, a friendly grammar gnome appears to guide you on the right path. Grammar gnomes? I could use a few of those. But what about creativity? I'm afraid mine might be a bit rusty. That's where the plot thickens. Every week, we embark on a quest. A diary adventure. You write about discovering lost cities. Or inventing new gadgets. An adventure diary. That sounds thrilling. And it would definitely get my creative juices flowing. Exactly. And occasionally, we'll swap diaries. Like exchanging maps to bury treasures. But the treasures are our improvements in English. Swap diaries? Count me in. It's like being explorers in the vast landscape of language. Brace yourself. Our expedition into the land of English begins. Who knows what mysteries our writings will unravel? Let's practice our speaking. Hey, ready to practice our speaking skills? Absolutely. Let's dive in. What's our topic today? How about discussing the impact of technology on society? Sounds good. I'll start. Technology has revolutionized communication, making it easier to connect with people globally. Definitely. It's amazing how we can now video call someone on the other side of the world in an instant. True. But there are downsides too, like the rise of cyberbullying and online scams. Right. The internet can be a double-edged sword. 
but it's also transformed industries, like healthcare and education. Agreed. Remote learning and telemedicine have become more accessible thanks to technology. And let's not forget the impact on jobs. Automation is changing the workforce landscape. Absolutely. It's crucial for us to adapt and acquire new skills to stay relevant in this digital age. Definitely. Overall, technology has reshaped society in profound ways, both positive and negative. Indeed. Our challenge is to harness its benefits while mitigating its drawbacks. Plane. Have you heard about the upcoming company merger? Yeah, I did. It's a big deal, right? Absolutely. It's going to change the entire landscape of our industry. Do you think it will affect our jobs or the way we work? It's hard to say at this point, but there will definitely be some changes in processes and possibly even job roles. I hope it doesn't lead to layoffs or major disruptions. The leadership team is doing their best to ensure a smooth transition, but mergers can be unpredictable. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see how it unfolds. It's a big deal for sure. Yes, and we'll need to adapt and stay informed as things progress. Agreed. Let's keep our fingers crossed for a positive outcome. What size are you looking for? What size are you looking for? I'm not sure. Do you have a size chart? Yes. Here you go. It should help you find the right fit. Thanks. According to this, I think I'll need a small. All right. Let me check if we have that size available. If not, do you have any mediums? We do have a few mediums left. Would you like me to grab one for you, just in case? Yes, please. It's always good to have options. Absolutely. Here's a medium for you. Can I have your attention, please? Hey, can I have your attention, please? Sure, what's up? I just wanted to remind everyone about the meeting tomorrow morning. Oh, right. Thanks for the heads up. I almost forgot about it. No problem. It's an important one, so I wanted to make sure everyone's aware. Absolutely. Do you know what time it starts? It's at 9 o'clock a.m. sharp. So we should all be there a few minutes early to get settled. Got it. I'll make sure to set my alarm a bit earlier than usual. Great. And if anyone has any updates or topics they want to discuss, let me know so we can add them to the agenda. Will do. I might have a couple of things to bring up, actually. Perfect. Just shoot me an email with the details. I'll make sure it's included. Sounds good. Thanks for keeping us organized. Of course. We want to make the most out of our time together. Can you give me a synonym for this word?
Can you give me a synonym for this word? Sure. What's the word? Happy. Hmm, how about? Joyful or content? Those work. Thanks. No problem. Anything else you need synonyms for? Actually, yes. What about sad? You could use melancholy or gloomy. Good suggestions. Thanks again. Anytime. Feel free to ask if you need help with more words. Will do. Thanks. Practice listening comprehension. I've been trying to improve my English. They say practice listening comprehension is key. What's your strategy? Oh, I treat it like I'm training to be a secret agent. Every English conversation, movie, or song is a mission to decipher a hidden message. A secret agent, huh? That does add an exciting twist. Do you also wear sunglasses at night while doing it? Only when I'm trying to decode the most challenging podcasts. The idea is to immerse yourself so deeply that you start dreaming in English. That's when you know you've cracked the code. Dreaming in English? That's the ultimate sign of a master spy. Do you have gadgets too? Absolutely. Headphones that translate difficult accents into spy lingo. And an app that slows down speech to super spy mode for intense training. This sounds like a fun adventure. Count me in. I'm ready to become a language decoding spy. Welcome aboard, Agent. Our mission, to conquer the world of English listening comprehension. Let's tune into our first secret transmission. Sorry, could you speak up a bit? Sorry, could you speak up a bit? Of course. I was saying that I'm planning a trip to Europe this summer. Ah, got it. Where in Europe are you planning to visit? I'm thinking of starting in Italy, then making my way to France and Spain. Sounds like an amazing itinerary. Have you been to Europe before? Yeah, I've visited a few countries there, but there's still so much more I want to see. That's the beauty of Europe. There's always something new to discover. How long are you planning to stay? I'm thinking about three weeks. I want to take my time exploring each country and soaking in the culture. Three weeks should give you plenty of time to see the highlights. Do you have any must-visit destinations on your list? Definitely Rome, Paris, and Barcelona. But I also want to explore some smaller towns and countryside areas that sounds like a well-rounded trip. Make sure to try the local cuisine while you're there. Oh, I definitely will. I'm already looking forward to indulging in some authentic Italian pasta and French pastries. Sounds delicious. Have an amazing trip. Cooking techniques. Have you been experimenting with any new cooking techniques lately? Yes. I've been trying my hand at sous vide cooking. It's fascinating how precise and consistent the results can be. Sous vide sounds intriguing. How does it work exactly? Basically, you vacuum seal food in a bag. 
and cook it in a water bath at a controlled temperature for an extended period. It ensures even cooking and locks in flavors. That sounds like a game changer. I've been wanting to elevate my steak game. Do you recommend it for meats? Absolutely. It's perfect for meats like steak, chicken, and even fish. You can achieve the desired level of doneness without worrying about overcooking. I'll definitely give it a try. I've been owning my knife skills lately. Have you ever tried the Japanese technique of slicing with a single motion? Yes, I'm familiar with it. It's all about precision and control, right? Exactly. It takes practice, but the results are worth it. I find it makes slicing vegetables and meats much more efficient. Sounds like a technique worth mastering. Cooking is all about continuous learning and improvement, isn't it? Absolutely. There's always something new to discover in the kitchen. Domestic violence and abuse. Sweetheart, I need to talk to you about something serious. I've noticed some concerning behaviors lately, and I'm worried about us. What do you mean? Is everything okay? I've been feeling scared and unsafe in our relationship. Some of your actions have crossed boundaries, and I can't ignore it any longer. I'm so sorry. I never meant to make you feel that way. I'll do anything to make it right. I appreciate your apology. But I think we need to address this together. Domestic violence and abuse are serious issues, and we can't sweep them under the rug. You're right. I need help to change my behavior and ensure this never happens again. I'll seek counseling and support. Thank you for taking this seriously. I love you, but I can't tolerate any form of abuse. We need to work together to create a safe. And healthy environment for both of us. I love you too, and I'm committed to doing whatever it takes to rebuild our relationship and make things right. How do you say "I like something" in English? How do you say "I like something" in English? It's simply "I like." Oh, that's straightforward. Thanks. You're welcome. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Actually, yes. How would you say "I like this book"? You would say "I like this book." Got it. And what about if you want to say "I like those shoes"? It would be. I like those shoes. It seems pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Definitely, English can be quite simple in many cases. I appreciate your help. I'm trying to improve my English skills. No problem at all. Feel free to ask if you have any more questions. Will do. Thanks again. Any time. Let me clarify. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I have one. Regarding the upcoming project timeline, are we still aiming for the same completion date? Good question. We've had some updates to the project scope, so we're reassessing the timeline. We'll confirm the new completion date by the end of the week. Okay. Thanks for the update. 
No problem. Any other questions? I have one more. Will there be any training provided for the new software we're implementing? Yes, definitely. We're planning a series of training sessions next week to ensure everyone is comfortable using the new software. Great. I'll keep an eye out for the schedule. Perfect. If there are no further questions, let's wrap up the meeting. Could you repeat that more slowly, please? Could you repeat that more slowly, please? Sure. I was saying that I'm thinking of starting a small business. Ah, oh, got it. What type of business are you considering? I'm thinking of opening a coffee shop. I've always been passionate about coffee. And I think it would be a great opportunity to create a cozy community space. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Have you thought about where you want to open the coffee shop? I'm considering a few locations. In the downtown area. Somewhere with good foot traffic. And a welcoming atmosphere. Location is key for a business like that. Have you started planning out the details? Yeah. I've been doing some research on coffee shop design. And layout. As well as exploring suppliers for coffee beans and equipment. It sounds like you're off to a good start. Do you have any experience in the food and beverage industry? Not professionally, but I've worked in coffee shops before and I'm passionate about creating a great customer experience. Well, let me know if you need any help or advice as you start your business. I'd be happy to lend a hand. Thanks, I appreciate it. It's exciting, but also a bit daunting. So, any support is welcome. What's something you've always wanted to try? What's something you've always wanted to try? Skydiving. I've always been curious about the adrenaline rush and the feeling of free falling from thousands of feet in the air. Skydiving, huh? That sounds exhilarating. What's stopping you from trying it? Mainly the fear of heights. It's ironic, I know, considering I want to jump out of a plane, but the idea still terrifies me. It's understandable. Facing your fears head-on like that takes courage. Maybe one day you'll work up the nerve to give it a shot. Yeah, maybe. What about you? Is there something you've always wanted to try? I've always wanted to learn how to play the piano. There's something so beautiful and magical about creating music with your own hands. That sounds like a wonderful goal. Have you ever taken any steps to pursue it? Not yet, but it's definitely on my bucket list. I just need to find the time and dedication to commit to it. Well, when you do decide to learn, I'll be your biggest cheerleader. Playing the piano is a skill that's worth the effort. Thanks. I appreciate the encouragement. Maybe one day we'll both conquer our dreams and try something new together. Would you mind repeating that? Would you mind repeating that? Sure. I was asking if you could help me with the project deadline. Ah, got it. I'd be happy to help. 
What specifically do you need assistance with? I need some extra hands to gather data and analyze the results. It's a bit more than I can handle on my own. I understand. Let's discuss the details and see how I can contribute. Thanks, I really appreciate it. The more data we can collect, the better our analysis will be. Absolutely. I'll make sure to allocate some time to work on the project with you. Great, that's a huge help. Do you have availability later today to get started? I should have some time this afternoon. Let's plan to meet up and go over the project requirements. Sounds like a plan. I'll send you the details and we can iron out the specifics. Perfect. Looking forward to working together on this. Likewise. Thanks again for lending a hand. I need your help. I need your help. Of course. What do you need assistance with? I have a presentation due tomorrow, but my laptop just crashed and I lost all my files. That sounds stressful. Do you have any backups? Unfortunately, no. I didn't think it would crash like this. All right, let's see what we can salvage. Do you have any notes or drafts saved elsewhere? I have some printed notes and rough sketches but the final slides are all gone. Let's start by recreating the slides from your printed notes. I'll help you format them. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. No problem. We'll make it work. Once we get the basic structure down, we can fine tune it together. Okay, let's get started. I'll go grab those printed notes. Do you have any kids? Do you have any kids? Yes, I have two daughters. They're seven and ten years old. How about you? No, I don't have any kids yet. Maybe someday. It's definitely a big responsibility, but also incredibly rewarding. I can imagine. How do you balance parenting with everything else? It can be challenging at times, but we try to prioritize family time and support each other as parents. That makes sense. Are your kids involved in any activities? Yes. They both enjoy soccer and piano lessons. Keeps them busy, but they love it. That's great. It's important for kids to have hobbies and interests. Definitely. It helps them learn new skills and build confidence. Do you have any tips for someone thinking about starting a family? Just take it one day at a time and enjoy the journey. It's not always easy but it's worth it in the end. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. No problem. Parenthood is different for everyone, but it's an incredible experience. What's your favorite sports team? What's your favorite sports team? I'm a huge fan of the Lakers. Been following them for years. Nice choice. 
they've had some legendary players over the years. Yeah, definitely. What about you? Do you have a favorite team? I'm a diehard fan of the New England Patriots. Ah, the Patriots. They've had quite a dynasty in the NFL. Absolutely. It's been exciting to watch them over the years. Do you have any favorite players on the team? Tom Brady was always a favorite. But now that he's moved on, I'm liking what I'm seeing from the younger guys stepping up. Yeah, Brady was a legend. But it's always interesting to see new talent emerge. Definitely. That's the beauty of sports. It's always evolving. Wait around. Stay or linger in a place. How's everything going with your new job? It's been pretty good so far. The workload is manageable, and the team is great. That sounds positive. Any challenges? Well, the commute is a bit longer than I'd like, but that's a minor inconvenience. What about the salary and benefits? The compensation package is fair, and the benefits are decent. I can't complain. That's good to hear. It seems like you've landed a decent gig overall. Yeah, I think so. It's not perfect, but it's a good step forward in my career. Well, as long as you're content and it's helping you progress, I guess I can't complain either. Exactly. It's not ideal, but it's working for now. It's high time. Have you heard about Tom and Lisa? They've been engaged for five years, and they still haven't set a wedding date. Seriously? That's a long time to be engaged? What's the hold up? They keep saying they're waiting for the perfect moment, but it's high time they made some decisions. I agree. There's never going to be a perfect moment. They should just go for it and plan the wedding. And speaking of waiting, I've been telling them to start a family too, but they keep delaying it. It's high time they started thinking about their future and what they want. Exactly. Time flies and they're missing out on so many experiences by waiting around. Well, I hope they figure things out soon. Life is too short to keep postponing important decisions. No problem. Hey, did you manage to finish that report for the meeting tomorrow? No problem. I wrapped it up earlier today. It's all set to go. Great, thanks. Oh, and by the way, did you hear about the changes to the schedule next week? Yeah, I got the memo. No problem there either. It actually works out better for me. Perfect. And one more thing, I might need your help with the presentation slides. Think you could lend a hand? No problem at all. Just let me know what you need and I'll get it done. Thanks, I really appreciate it. I'll send you the details later today. Sounds good. No problem, happy to help out. How do you usually start your day?
How do you usually start your day? I like to wake up early, around 6 a.m. I start with some stretches and then a cup of coffee. Ah, a fellow early riser. I'm more of a 7 a.m. person myself. But coffee is definitely a must. Definitely. Can't function without it. After coffee, I usually go for a run or hit the gym before breakfast. That sounds energizing. I prefer a slower start. I usually meditate for a bit after coffee. Helps clear my mind for the day ahead. That's smart. I might give meditation a try one of these days. After my workout, I have breakfast. Usually something light like yogurt and fruit. I'm more of a hearty breakfast person. Eggs, toast, the works. Then it's off to work for me. Sounds like a solid routine. I find sticking to a routine helps set a positive tone for the rest of the day. Absolutely. Well, here's to starting the day off right. Cheers. I'm in a pickle. Hey, do you have a minute? I'm in a pickle. Of course. What's going on? Well, I accidentally locked my keys inside my car, and I don't have a spare. That's quite a situation. How can I help? I was wondering if you could give me a ride to the locksmith, or maybe help me find a solution. I'd love to help, but I'm currently at work, and my schedule is tight today. I understand. I guess I'll have to call a locksmith and hope it won't take too long. That's probably your best bet. It's a frustrating situation, but hopefully they can resolve it quickly. Yeah, it's definitely not how I planned my day. Thanks for understanding, though. No problem. Good luck with getting your car unlocked. Food Allergies and Intolerances I've been experimenting with recipes lately, but I'm finding it challenging to accommodate everyone's food allergies and intolerances. I hear you. It can be tough to navigate, but it's essential to ensure everyone can enjoy the meal safely. What are you working with? Well, one friend is allergic to nuts, another can't have gluten, and someone else is lactose intolerant. It's like a culinary puzzle. It definitely sounds like a challenge, but there are plenty of alternatives out there. Have you tried using almond flour or coconut flour instead of wheat flour? That's a good idea. I'll give it a shot. And for the dairy issue, I've been experimenting with plant-based milks in my recipes. Perfect! And make sure to read labels carefully to avoid any hidden allergens. It's also helpful to communicate with your guests beforehand to understand their needs better. Definitely. I want everyone to feel included and safe at the dinner table. Thanks for the tips. Of course. Cooking for dietary restrictions can be tricky, but with a little creativity and preparation, you can still create delicious meals that everyone can enjoy. What did you say? What did you say? I was asking, if you wanted to grab lunch together today. Ah, oh, got it. Yeah, that sounds good. 
Any preferences on where to go? I was thinking of trying out that new Italian place. That opened up downtown. Sounds delicious. I'm always up for some pasta. What time were you thinking? Around 12.30 p.m. work for you. Perfect. That gives me enough time to finish up a few things before we head out. Great. I'll make a reservation just in case it's busy. Good idea. I heard it's been pretty popular since it opened. Yeah, I figured it's better to be safe than sorry. Plus, it'll be nice to have a guaranteed table. Definitely. Thanks for taking care of that. I'm looking forward to lunch. Me too. It'll be nice to catch up outside of the office. Absolutely. See you at 12.30 then. Sustainable cooking. Have you been exploring sustainable cooking lately? I've been trying to reduce my carbon footprint in the kitchen. Absolutely. I've been making some changes too, like incorporating more plant-based meals and using local, seasonal ingredients. That's great! I've been focusing on reducing food waste by using every part of the ingredient. For example, using vegetable scraps to make broth or turning stale bread into croutons. I love that idea. It's amazing how much we can save by getting creative with leftovers. I've also been trying to buy from farmers markets or joining a CSA to support local farmers and reduce transportation emissions. Yes, supporting local agriculture is crucial for sustainable cooking. Plus, it ensures fresher and more nutritious ingredients. Absolutely. And I've been conscious of energy usage, too, like using energy-efficient appliances and opting for cooking methods that require less energy, like steaming or stir-frying. It's inspiring to see how small changes in our cooking habits can make a big difference in the environment. Definitely. Every little step counts towards a more sustainable future, even in the kitchen. Is there anything else you're looking for? Is there anything else you're looking for? Yes. Actually, I'm also in need of a new office chair. Something ergonomic. We have a variety of ergonomic chairs that might interest you. Do you prefer one with a mesh back or a solid one? I think a mesh back might be better. It tends to get warm in my office. In that case, let me show you our range of mesh back chairs. They come with adjustable lumbar support and are very durable. That sounds perfect. What are the price ranges for these? They start at $200 and go up to $450, depending on the features. The higher-end models include adjustable armrests and headrests, as well as a tilt mechanism. Can I see one in the middle price range? Certainly. This model here is $325. It includes the tilt mechanism and adjustable armrests. It's one of our best sellers. It looks great. Does it come in different colors? Yes, it's available in black, gray, and navy blue. I'll take the gray one then. Excellent choice. I'll prepare the paperwork for you. Hey, what's your favorite type of cuisine?
Hey, what's your favorite type of cuisine? Hmm, tough question. I think I'd go with Italian. Nice choice. I'm torn between Mexican and Japanese. Both great options. Mexican food has such bold flavors, and sushi is just so delicate and delicious. Exactly. Plus, the variety in both cuisines is amazing. Tacos, burritos, enchiladas on one hand, and sushi, ramen, tempura on the other. Absolutely. And don't forget about all the amazing street food you can find in Mexico and Japan. Oh, yeah. Street food is a whole other level of culinary experience. So, what's your favorite Italian dish? Tough call, but I think I'd have to say spaghetti carbonara. How about you? Any favorites from Mexican or Japanese cuisine? For Mexican, it's definitely street tacos. And for Japanese, I can never resist a good bowl of ramen. Sounds delicious. I'm getting hungry just talking about it. I didn't hear you. Could you repeat that? I didn't hear you. Could you repeat that? Sure, I was asking. If you've seen the latest episode of that new TV series everyone's been talking about. Ah, got it. No, I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. Is it any good? Yeah, I think it's really well done. The storyline is captivating, and the acting is top-notch. That sounds promising. What genre is it? It's a thriller. Keeps you on the edge of your seat the whole time. Nice. I'll have to add it to my watch list. Where can I stream it? It's available on one of the popular streaming platforms. I can send you the link if you want. That would be great, thanks. I've been looking for something new to binge watch. No problem. I think you'll really enjoy it. Thanks for the recommendation. I'll let you know what I think after I've watched a few episodes. Sounds good. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. Can you speak more slowly? Can you speak more slowly? Sure. Sorry about that. I tend to talk fast sometimes. No problem. I just want to make sure I understand everything you're saying. I completely understand. Let me know if I need to slow down further. Thanks, I appreciate it. So what were you saying about the upcoming project deadline? Well, the deadline got pushed back by a week due to some unexpected delays. In the development phase. Ah, I see. That gives us a bit more time to refine our work then. Exactly. It's actually a bit of a relief for the team. That makes sense. I'll make sure everyone is aware of the new deadline. Great. And if you need any assistance with adjusting schedules or anything else, feel free to reach out. Will do. Thanks again for accommodating my request to speak slower. Are you a morning or night person? Are you a morning or a night person? 
definitely a night owl. Mornings are just not my thing. I hear you. I'm the complete opposite. Love waking up early and getting things done. That's impressive. I struggle to function before noon. It's all about finding your rhythm, I guess. But staying up late must have its perks too. Yeah, I get a lot done when the world is quiet. Plus, there's something about the nighttime that feels more peaceful. I can see that. I'm usually winding down by then, getting ready for bed. I envy that ability. I can never seem to go to bed at a decent hour. Well, we all have our preferences. As long as you're getting enough rest, right? True. And hey, at least one of us is productive in the mornings. And one of us keeps the night alive. We make a good team, don't we? Absolutely. As long as we cover both ends of the day, we're unstoppable. Excuse me, I didn't understand what you said. Excuse me, I didn't understand what you said. No problem. I was asking if you'd like to join me for dinner tonight. Ah, got it. That sounds nice. Where were you thinking of going? I was thinking of trying out that new Mexican restaurant downtown. I've heard good things about it. Sounds delicious. What time were you thinking? How about 7 p.m.? That should give us enough time to meet up after work. Perfect. That works for me. I'll see you there. Great. Do you want me to make a reservation? Yes, that would be a good idea, just in case it's busy. Will do. I'll make sure we have a table for two at 7 p.m. Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. Practice speaking regularly. I heard practicing speaking regularly is the key to mastering English. What's your take? Absolutely. It's like training for a marathon. But instead of running, your tongue does the workout. My tongue in a workout, huh? Should I dress it in tiny sneakers? Only if they're fashionably tiny. Imagine each conversation is a lap. Sometimes... You sprint with quick chats. Other times, you run marathons with deep discussions. Sounds fun. But what if I stumble on words and grammar? That's the beauty of it. Every stumble is a stepping stone. Plus, I've got a secret weapon for you. Karaoke English battles. Karaoke battles? Now, that's a plot twist. Singing my way through grammar and vocabulary. Exactly. Picture belting out ballads and pop hits, all while perfecting your pronunciation and rhythm. This is genius. English learning turned into a musical. I'm in. Time to make my speaking practice a chart-topping hit. Let's do it. The world's our stage, and every conversation's an encore. Ready to sing your heart out? Substance abuse. Honey, I need to talk to you about something that's been weighing heavily on my mind. I've noticed some concerning signs that you might be struggling. 
with substance abuse. I've been trying to hide it, but I know I haven't been myself lately. I didn't want to worry you. I appreciate your honesty. I'm here to support you, but we need to address this together. Have you considered seeking help? I've thought about it, but I'm scared. I don't know where to start. We can start by talking to a professional or finding a support group. You're not alone in this, and there are people who can help you through it. I want to get better, for you and for our family. I'll do whatever it takes to overcome this. That's all I ask. Let's take this one step at a time together. I love you, and I'm proud of you for opening up. I love you too. Thank you for being here for me. Could you repeat that, please? Could you repeat that, please? Sure. I was saying that the meeting is scheduled for 10 o'clock a.m. tomorrow. Got it. And where exactly is the meeting going to be held? It's going to be in the conference room on the third floor. Okay, thanks. And who will be leading the meeting? That would be Sarah from the marketing team. All right. Thanks for clarifying. No problem. Is there anything else you need to know? Actually, yes. Will there be any materials or documents we need to bring to the meeting? Yes. Sarah mentioned she'll be sending out an email with the agenda and any necessary documents later today. Perfect. I'll keep an eye out for that email then. Sounds good. Let me know if you have any other questions. Will do. Thanks again for the information. Privacy and Independence Sweetheart, I've been thinking about our relationship and the importance of privacy and independence. I feel like we need to have a conversation about boundaries. I've been feeling the same way. While I love being close to you, I also value having my own space and autonomy. Exactly. I think it's healthy for us to have some time and activities that are just for ourselves. It doesn't mean we love each other any less. I couldn't agree more. We should be able to pursue our own interests and hobbies without feeling guilty or intruded upon. And when it comes to privacy, I want you to know that I trust you completely. We should feel comfortable having our own private conversations and personal space. Thank you for saying that. I trust you too. And I'm grateful for the respect and understanding you show me. Let's make a conscious effort to communicate openly about our needs for privacy and independence so we can continue to nurture a healthy and strong relationship. Absolutely. Our relationship is built on mutual respect and trust, and I'm committed to maintaining that. Divorce and Separation Honey, I think we need to talk about our relationship lately. Things haven't been working out the way we hoped. I've been feeling the same way. It's been difficult to ignore the distance between us. I don't want to hurt you, but I've been considering the possibility of divorce 
or separation. I understand. It's a tough decision to make, but I've been thinking about it too. Maybe it's time we prioritize our individual happiness and well being, even if that means going our separate ways. I agree. We owe it to ourselves to pursue what's best for us, even if it's not what we imagined for our marriage. It's not easy, but I believe we can handle this with respect and dignity. Our love for each other doesn't have to disappear just because our marriage does. I'm grateful for the memories we've shared and the love we've had. Let's approach this with kindness and understanding. Absolutely. We'll support each other through this transition, no matter what. What's your favorite type of coffee or tea? What's your favorite type of coffee or tea? I'm a coffee person through and through. Can't start my day without a good cup of dark roast. I'm more of a tea person myself. Green tea specifically. I find it refreshing and it gives me a nice energy boost. Ah, green tea. I've tried it a few times, but it never quite clicked for me. Too subtle, I guess. Yeah, it's definitely an acquired taste. But there are so many varieties out there. You might find one you like. Maybe I'll give it another shot. So, do you take your green tea plain or with anything added? I usually drink it plain, but occasionally I'll add a slice of lemon for some extra zest. Interesting. With coffee, I like to keep it simple too. Just black, no sugar or cream. Classic choice. I admire that. But hey, whether it's coffee or tea, as long as it gets the job done, right? Exactly. Cheers to that. Sorry, what was it that you said? Sorry, what was it that you said? I was asking if you could help me with the presentation for Monday's meeting. Ah, oh, got it. What specifically do you need help with? I could use some assistance in designing the slides and organizing the content. Sure, I'd be happy to help. Do you have the information and materials ready? Yes, I've gathered the data and outlined the key points. I just need help putting it all together in a visually appealing way. Sounds good. Let's schedule some time to work on it together. How about we meet up tomorrow afternoon? That works for me. What time were you thinking? How about 2 p.m.? Does that work for you? Perfect. I'll see you then. Great. Just bring your laptop and any other materials you think we'll need. Will do. Thanks for offering to help. I really appreciate it. No problem. We make a good team. Environmental concerns. Darling, I've been feeling increasingly worried about the state of our environment. It's been weighing heavily on my mind. I've noticed. It's hard to ignore the signs of climate change and the impact it's having on our planet. Exactly. I think we need to start taking action, even if it's just small steps, to reduce our carbon footprint. 
and protect the environment for future generations. I agree completely. We can start by being more mindful of our energy consumption, reducing waste, and supporting sustainable practices. And maybe we can also get involved in local initiatives or organizations that are working towards environmental conservation. That's a great idea. I think it's important for us to do our part and contribute to positive change in any way we can. I'm glad we're on the same page. Together, we can make a difference and help create a healthier, more sustainable world. Absolutely. Let's commit to taking action and being stewards of the environment. Our planet depends on it. Can you please say that one more time? Can you please say that one more time? Sure. I was asking if you're available to meet up this weekend. Ah, oh, got it. Yeah, I should be free. What did you have in mind? I was thinking we could go for a hike in the mountains. The weather's supposed to be nice. That sounds like a great idea. It's been a while since I've been hiking. Yeah. It'll be nice to get some fresh air and exercise. Plus, the views up there are always amazing. Definitely. What time were you thinking of starting the hike? How about around 9 a.m.? That way we can beat the crowds and have the trail to ourselves. Sounds perfect. Should I bring anything, like snacks or water? Yeah, it's always a good idea to pack some snacks and water for the hike. I'll bring a backpack with some essentials too. Great, I'll make sure to wear comfortable shoes and dress in layers in case it gets chilly. Sounds like a plan. I'm looking forward to it. Mental health stigma. Honey, I've been thinking a lot about mental health lately. I feel like there's still so much stigma surrounding it, and it's affecting so many people, including us. I couldn't agree more. It's heartbreaking to see how many people suffer in silence because of fear of judgment or discrimination. Exactly. I think it's time we start having more open conversations about mental health both within our family and with our friends and community. I'm all for it. But I worry about how others might perceive us if we speak out about our own struggles. I understand your concern, but I believe that by speaking out, we can help break down the stigma and encourage others to seek help when they need it. You're right. It's important to prioritize our mental well-being and support others in doing the same. We can start by educating ourselves and others and by creating a safe and supportive environment where mental health is treated with the same importance as physical health. I'm grateful to have you by my side in this. Let's work together to make a positive change. Absolutely. We're in this together. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Thank you for finalizing the contract so quickly. It's been a smooth process. Likewise, your team has been very cooperative and your proposal was well prepared. We appreciate your efficiency in reviewing and accepting the terms. It's a pleasure doing business with you. The feeling is mutual.
We believe this partnership will be mutually beneficial. Absolutely. Our organizations have similar goals, and I'm confident we'll achieve great results together. I'm looking forward to working closely with your team and achieving our shared objectives. If there are any issues or concerns along the way, please don't hesitate to reach out. Likewise, feel free to contact us anytime. Communication is key to a successful partnership. Agreed. Here's to a prosperous collaboration. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Cheers to that. Work-life balance. Honey, I've been feeling overwhelmed lately with work. I think we need to talk about our work-life balance. I've noticed you've been bringing a lot of work home. It's starting to take a toll on our family time. I know, and I'm sorry. It's just been so hectic at the office, and I feel like I can't keep up. I understand, but we need to find a way to prioritize our family time too. Maybe we can set some boundaries around work hours and make sure we stick to them. That sounds like a good idea. And I think I need to learn to delegate more at work, so I'm not bringing as much home with me. And don't forget to take breaks during the day. It's important to recharge and not burn out. You're right. I'll make an effort to take breaks and be more present when I'm home. Our family deserves my full attention. I'm glad we're having this conversation. Let's work together to find a better balance between work and family. Excuse me, could you repeat that? Excuse me, could you repeat that? Sure. I was saying that I'm considering taking a cooking class. Ah, uh, got it. What type of cuisine are you interested in learning? I'm thinking of trying out some Mediterranean dishes. I love the flavors, and it seems healthier too. That sounds like a great idea. Learning to cook new dishes can be a fun and rewarding experience. Yeah. I'm excited to expand my culinary skills. Plus, it's a good way to impress friends and family with homemade meals. Absolutely. Have you found any cooking classes in the area that you're interested in? Not yet, but I'm planning to do some research online. I want to find a class that fits my schedule and skill level. That's a good plan. Let me know if you need any recommendations. Or if you want to join forces and take a class together. Thanks. I appreciate it. Cooking with a friend sounds like a lot of fun. Definitely. Just let me know when you're ready to sign up and we'll make it happen. Work on. Make an effort to improve or complete something. thinking about asking for a promotion at work, but I'm not sure if it's the right time. Well, if you feel you've put in the effort and have the qualifications, it's worth a shot. Yeah, I've been taking on more responsibilities and achieving my targets consistently. Then go for it. You never know unless you try. I'm just worried about how my manager will react. What if they say no? Don't let fear hold you back. If you don't ask, you never know what could have happened. Besides, even if they say no this time, 
it might pave the way for future opportunities. That's a good point. I'll gather my achievements and set up a meeting with my manager. It's worth a shot. That's the spirit. Take the initiative. And who knows, it might pay off. Cooking classes and workshops. Hey, have you ever thought about taking cooking classes or workshops? I've been considering it lately to improve my skills in the kitchen. Absolutely. I've actually taken a few classes myself, and they've been incredibly fun and informative. There are so many different ones to choose from. That's awesome. What kind of classes did you take? I've tried everything from basic knife skills to advanced pastry techniques. There are also workshops focused on specific cuisines like Italian, Thai, or French. Wow, that sounds like a culinary adventure. Did you find it helpful? Definitely. Not only did I learn new techniques and recipes, but I also gained confidence in the kitchen. Plus. It's a great way to meet new people who share your passion for cooking. I'm sold. Do you have any recommendations for good cooking classes or workshops? Well, it depends on what you're interested in and where you're located. I suggest looking online or asking for recommendations from friends who have taken classes before. Thanks for the advice. I can't wait to sign up for a class and expand my culinary skills. Is there a certain style you're interested in? to finish that book you started last week? Yeah, I did. The ending was quite surprising. Did you finish yours? Not yet. I've been caught up with work, but I'm halfway through. What's the book you read about? It's a science fiction novel about time travel. It explores how altering moments in history can have massive repercussions on the present. That sounds fascinating. It makes me think about if small decisions in our lives could have changed where we are today. Exactly. It makes you wonder about the big picture and our roles within it. How's your book? It's a mystery novel set in Venice. It's about a it's a detective solving a centuries-old secret society's puzzles. Quite thrilling. Venice sounds like a perfect setting for a mystery. I should add that to my list. Definitely. Once I'm done, I'll lend it to you. How about we grab coffee next week to discuss our books? Sounds like a plan. Let's do Wednesday. Wednesday works. See you then. Have you seen any good movies or shows recently? Have you seen any good movies or shows recently? Yeah. I watched this new thriller on Netflix called the Nightcaller. It had me on the edge of my seat the whole time. Oh, I've heard about that one. It's been getting some good reviews. I'll have to check it out. Definitely worth watching. If you're into suspenseful dramas, what about you? Seen anything good lately? 
I actually just finished binge watching this comedy series called Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It's hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. Oh, yeah. I love that show. The characters are so funny, and the writing is really clever. Totally agree. It's become one of my favorites. Always puts me in a good mood. Any other recommendations? If you're into documentaries, I recently watched My Octopus Teacher on Netflix. It's really beautiful and thought-provoking. Sounds interesting. I'll add it to my list. Thanks for the suggestion. No problem. Let me know what you think once you've watched it. Will do. Thanks again. Could you say that again, please? Could you say that again, please? Sure. I was saying that I'm thinking about redecorating my living room. Ah, got it. What kind of changes are you considering? I'm thinking of adding some new furniture and updating the color scheme. Maybe some brighter colors to liven up the space. That sounds like a fun project. Have you decided on a specific style or theme? Not yet, but I'm leaning towards a modern and minimalist look. Clean lines and simple designs. That could look really sleek. Have you started shopping for furniture and decor? Yeah, I've been browsing online and visiting some furniture stores to get inspiration. I want to find pieces that are both stylish and functional. Smart approach. It's important to choose furniture that fits your lifestyle and needs. Definitely. I want the living room to feel comfortable and inviting, but also stylish and organized. Well, let me know if you need any help with your redecorating project. I'd be happy to lend a hand. Thanks. I appreciate it. It'll be nice to have a second opinion when making decisions. Seasonal ingredients. Hey, have you been cooking with any interesting seasonal ingredients lately? Absolutely. With the full season here, I've been incorporating a lot of squash and root vegetables into my dishes. That sounds delicious. I love how versatile squash can be. What have you been making with it? Well, I made a creamy butternut squash soup last week that turned out amazing. And tonight, I'm planning to roast some acorn squash with a maple glaze. Yum. That sounds so comforting. And perfect for the cooler weather. I've been using a lot of apples in my cooking lately, since they're in season. Apples are great for both sweet and savory dishes. Have you tried making any desserts with them? Yes. I made an apple crisp the other day with a cinnamon oat topping. It was a big hit with my family. That sounds delicious. It's so satisfying to cook with ingredients that are at their peak freshness and flavor. Definitely. I love the variety and inspiration that seasonal ingredients bring to my cooking. Behavioral problems in children. Sweetheart, we need to talk about our children's behavior. Lately, 
I've been noticing some concerning patterns. I've noticed it too. They've been acting out more than usual, especially since the move. I think we need to address it before it becomes a bigger issue. Have you noticed any specific triggers or patterns in their behavior? It seems like they struggle with change and transitions, like adjusting to the new school and making new friends. That makes sense. Maybe we can try implementing a more structured routine and find ways to help them adapt to the changes. And perhaps we should consider seeking guidance from a child psychologist or counselor. They might be able to provide us with strategies to address these behavioral issues. I agree. It's important to get ahead of this before it escalates. Let's make an appointment to see someone as soon as possible. Absolutely. Our children's well being is our top priority, and we'll do whatever it takes to support them. I'm glad we're on the same page. Together, we can help our children overcome these challenges. I don't understand. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary... I don't understand. What specifically are you having trouble with? The instructions for assembling this furniture. It's so confusing. Let me take a look. Maybe I can help clarify things. Thanks. I appreciate it. I've been staring at this manual for hours. All right. So it seems like we need to start by connecting these two pieces here. Oh, I see. That makes more sense now. Yeah. Once you break it down step by step, it becomes clearer. But what about this part? It mentions using a screwdriver, but I don't see any screws. Ah, that's because they're already pre-inserted into the holes. We just need to tighten them. Got it. Thanks for explaining. No problem. Let's keep going and see if we can finish this up together. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as... Who can tell me the answer to this question? Hey! Do you know who can tell me the answer to this question? Hmm, depends on what the question is about. What's up? It's about the economic impact of automation on job markets. Ah, got it. Well, you could ask Professor Smith from the economics department. He's done a lot of research on that topic. Professor Smith? All right, I'll shoot him an email. Thanks. No problem. And if he's not available, you could also try reaching out to Dr. Patel. She's been studying the intersection of technology and employment for years. Dr. Patel noted, thanks for the suggestion. Anytime. Hope you find the answers you're looking for. Me too. This project is turning out to be more complex than I anticipated. Yeah, navigating through all that information can be tough. But you're on the right track seeking expert advice. Definitely. Thanks again for the help. I'll get in touch with them right away. Let's practice our writing. Want to do some writing practice? Sure, sounds good. What's the plan? Let's each come up with a short story idea. 
and then write a paragraph about it. Then we can swap and expand on each other's paragraphs. Sounds like a fun exercise. Okay, my idea is about a detective who discovers a hidden society of mythical creatures living among humans. Nice. I'll go with a futuristic setting where humanity has colonized other planets, but one colony mysteriously loses contact with Earth. Cool. Let's write our paragraphs. Done. Want to read mine first or go straight to swapping? Let's swap paragraphs. Here's mine. As Detective Harris delved deeper into the case, he stumbled upon a world he never knew existed. Werewolves, vampires, and fairies coexisted in secret, manipulating human affairs from the shadows. Fascinating. Here's mine. The silence of space was broken only by the soft hum of the spacecraft's engines. Commander Rodriguez stared at the blank screen wondering what could have befallen the colony on Mars. Both are intriguing. Now, let's expand on each other's ideas. Dietary Restrictions Hey, do you have any dietary restrictions I should be aware of for dinner tonight? Yes, actually. I'm lactose intolerant, so I try to avoid dairy products as much as possible. Noted! I can make a dairy-free option for you. Anything else I should know? I'm also gluten intolerant, so no wheat-based products for me. Please! Got it! I'll make sure to prepare something gluten-free as well. Are there any other restrictions I should consider? No, those are the main ones. Thank you for being considerate. Of course! I want everyone to enjoy the meal without worrying about any discomfort. I'll make sure to double-check all the ingredients and avoid any hidden allergens. I really appreciate it. It's not always easy dining out or eating at someone else's house with dietary restrictions. So it means a lot when hosts are accommodating. Absolutely, I understand. I want you to feel comfortable and welcome in my home. Thanks for letting me know. And I'll make sure to plan a delicious meal that suits everyone's needs. Do you have any sales or discounts going on? Do you have any sales or discounts going on right now? Yes. We're currently offering a 20% discount on all outdoor gear. Are you looking for anything specific? I'm interested in a new hiking backpack. Is the discount applicable to that as well? Absolutely. The discount applies to all backpacks. We have several models that might interest you, including ones with hydration systems and increased carrying capacity. That sounds good. Could you show me some options? Of course. Over here we have a model with an integrated water reservoir, and this one has adjustable straps and a built-in rain cover. How much is the one with the water reservoir? It's originally $120, but with the 20% discount, it comes down to $96. And the warranty on these? They come with a three-year warranty. We also offer a 30-day return policy if it doesn't meet your expectations. Great! I'll take the one with the water reservoir then. Perfect choice! I'll get that ready for you at the checkout. What are your favorite types of books to read?
What are your favorite types of books to read? I'm a big fan of fantasy and science fiction. There's something about escaping into imaginative worlds that I find captivating. How about you? I enjoy a wide range of genres, but historical fiction is probably my favorite. I love how it combines elements of real events with fictional narratives. That's interesting. Any particular time period or setting you're drawn to. I'm fascinated by the World War II era and ancient civilizations like ancient Egypt and Rome. How about fantasy and sci-fi? Any favorite authors or series? For fantasy, I'm really into epic sagas like A Song of Ice and Fire. Undie, The Wheel of Time, and for sci-fi, anything by Isaac Asimov or Philip K. Dick usually hooks me in. Those are classics for a reason. Have you read any good fantasy or sci-fi books lately? Yeah, I recently finished a series called The Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson. It's epic in every sense of the word. Sounds intriguing. I'll have to add it to my reading list. As for historical fiction, have you read anything noteworthy in that genre lately? Not recently, but I've heard great things about The Nightingale by Kristin Hanna. It's on my list. I've heard good things about that one too. Looks like we both have some new books to dive into. What's your dream vacation destination? What's your dream vacation destination? I've always dreamed of visiting Japan. The culture, the food, the history. It all fascinates me. Japan sounds amazing. I've heard Tokyo is a bustling metropolis unlike anywhere else. Yeah, Tokyo is definitely on my list. But I'm also eager to explore the more traditional side of Japan, like Kyoto and its temples. That sounds incredible. As for me, I've always wanted to visit Italy. The art, the architecture, and of course, the food. Italy is definitely a dream destination too. I can imagine strolling through the streets of Rome, soaking in all the history. And don't forget about the Amalfi Coast. The views there are supposed to be breathtaking. Absolutely. It's definitely a place to relax and enjoy the beauty of nature. But hey, whether it's Japan or Italy, both sound like amazing places to visit. Definitely. I guess we'll just have to start saving up for our dream vacations, right? Absolutely. It'll be worth every penny. <laughs> 